Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new video. This is the second video in this new series where we are testing out Professor Ribbit in all different game modes. So last time I did Last Realm if you guys want to go and watch that video. And today we are doing dungeons as you guys can see. We are going to test him in three different dungeons. First one we are going to try and solo with him. And then the other ones I'm going to be using Walla and Serena. So because I don't think he's going to be able to solo that one, but this one he might be able to. He's he's doing pretty well so far. But that I know that Warlock hits really really hard from back in the day when we had to do this with six heroes. I know he hits really hard. And maybe even that destroyer as well. Obviously he did not make it unfortunately. But he did get to 82%. I don't know how many heroes can solo it. Or even if it is really a really big achievement, you can be able to get to 82% on his own. But I think he did pretty well. I don't know about you guys. You guys can let me know in the comment section. By the way, the Professor Robert is fully maxed out and he has 8 of 8 bulwark. But I'll go through the hero in full at the end of the video. I also did in the previous one if you guys watched that, but I'll go through it again. But yeah, it is 8 of 8 bulwark. And he also has an 8 of 8, I think it's Berserk one. So he has two max Professor Robots. So that's really great. So yeah, this one is Insane Dungeon 14. Um, it, it was the last one. Of course, before Insane Dungeon 5 to 7 came out. And I really hope that AC, oh no, the AC propped and <laughs> Professor Robot is dead. But luckily we do have Serena for that. Okay, so Professor Robot is back. That is why I brought the Serena. Because I figured he would not be able to solo it. It's not really that kind of hero. But it's really a great tank. And it can really help if you want to get through walls. Maybe in some guild war attacks you guys want to get through walls. So then he's definitely a good choice for that. Because I don't think Rockno is that great anymore. But if you guys still use Rockno for guild wars let me know. But I don't think that many people use him anymore. And Professor Rupert actually got very close to dying again. But I think we're good now. I think it's only a Death Knight and a Pumpkin Duke. And there goes the Pumpkin Duke. So only have a Death Knight left. And he's not really going to do much. Not that I think he would survive even. Okay, there he's gone. So yeah, it's really easy nowadays to beat this dungeon if you have a really OP hero. I'm pretty sure Nubus could probably solo this as well. I haven't really looked at too much videos of which heroes can solo stuff like that. I know some people solo Yerba Monsters A, A with like a wall and so on but yeah I haven't really looked into it too much because honestly I don't have an Anubis, I don't have a Walla, I don't have let's look through the six euros I only have Sasquatch but it's the only euro I have on my main account and in the other one I have Sasquatch and Walla Walla of the six euros so yeah, I need a lot of his euros, but like I said in my previous video, I am thinking of spending. But I am also in the process of buying a new apartment. So I want to save all of the cost and so on. Because I'm probably just going to renovate it and rent it out. So maybe after all that is done, I will be spending more. So I can get some of these new euros because I am falling behind. I think it was only like 10 euros that I needed and now it's like 13 or 14 euros that I need. So yeah, it's really getting a lot. But yeah, I really like Professor Ribbit. So let me know in which game mode you guys want to see me next. And I'll make it happen for you guys.